will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. You know, that's the exact thing that I say every time that I start a new Where's Waldo book. No, it's true. Oh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Fu Manchu, and I'm sure you know what that little phone conversation clip thingy bubber over my full review sign was. Yep, it's Liam Neeson from uh, Tekken. It's probably the thing that he's asked to say the most. Me, I would say, hey, could you pat me on the head and call me Anakin? I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I like the Phantom Menace. But you know what? More than that... Liam Neeson to me will always be one thing and one thing only. That's right. Darkman! Yeah! I've loved him ever since Darkman, and I love that movie. And uh, then now all of a sudden he's an action star, which he was always kind of an action star if you think about it. I mean, Rob Roy, and then you had Darkman, and then you had, what, Phantom Menace? Ugh. You know what? I bet he's tired, and it probably says that conversation that he has over the phone and taken to anyone who calls him to offer him a job. He's like, leave me alone, guys, let me rest. But you know what? I really like the movie Taken. Now, I haven't seen part two and three. I heard they're not very good, but, you know, everybody says everything isn't good anymore, so I don't know. But I just haven't seen them yet, so who knows if I like them or not. But I like the first one. I thought it was pretty good. Um, do I think it's the greatest movie ever? No, but you know what? It doesn't have to be if you've got a strong lead and a strong main character. And that's exactly what the movie Taken had. And you know what? I really like the character of Brian Mills. Well, I found out that, you know, of course there's always going to be figures of characters out there, but most of them are unlicensed. Well, that leads us to today's review, because it, apparently there was a company that I've never gotten a figure to that basically made a knockoff Brian Mills figure, and it looks a little like this. Today's review will be on the Craft One. Yeah, that's the name of the company, Craft One. Agent figure, and that apparently seems to be the only name they gave him. They called him Agent but, if you look carefully, it is actually Liam Neeson as a Brian Mills. And honestly, it looks like it's the look that he had in Taken 3. Because, uh, you know, I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen enough of the trailers to know this looks like the outfit he wears there. His hair looks about the same as it did in the uh, third Taken movie. And you know what? This looks pretty cool. Now, if you look at the box... Now, I've, I've never gotten any Craft 1 figures before. No loose pieces, no nothing. So, you're going to find out with me if this is a good figure or not. But the box alone is super glossy and super slick, you know, the front or whatever. Look how reflective it is. You can see right there, you know, foobar sign reflecting on it and stuff like that. It is super, super glossy. Now, I didn't notice that in any of the videos I saw online. There's very few reviews of this figure. I guess nobody bought it. But, uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. Now, this is the front of the box. It's got a really neat picture of the actual figure. That's not him. It's the actual figure. It looks really cool. But if we look at the back of the box, we will find... Basically a rearranged front without the picture. So there, and then there's the little warnings down there saying, Do not let Brian Mills get after you, because he will find you, and he will kill you. But there you go, it says, Attention, Brian Mills! What's it say there? It says, uh, Watch out of the sharp edges or sharp points. Okay. Keep away from child to prevent choking danger. Well, okay, I guess. I don't got no little ninjas running around here. Uh... Final product mails uh, very slightly from pictured prototypes. Yeah, it's not Brian Mills, it's his brother. And small parts uh, and removable parts can be... S what? Small parts and removable parts can be swallowed or become lodged in child's... Well, wait a second. You're telling me I can swallow it, but I shouldn't. Okay, now I'm confused. Okay, it's, co it's a collectible. Adult collectible, not a toy. Okay, but anyway... There you go. Uh, so, I'm actually amazed they spelled agent right. Okay, let's look at the front of the box. I always love the broken English and stuff like that that are on these kind of boxes and stuff. You know, because, hey, not everybody's first language is English. I know mine isn't. Mine is, like, whatever they speak on Mars. But, hey, you didn't know that about me, did you? I say we open this package, shall we? Shut up, man. They can't always be good jokes. All right. If you'll take off the, the, the front part, the box, you will find a little foam flap insert thingamabobber. Now, once you remove this little foam flap, you will find the figure inside. And check out everything he comes with. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. He comes with a stand, obviously. That's really cool. Now, if you get this figure, you may hear a little bit of rattling around. You know, like little, I don't know, rattles and thuds and stuff. It's actually this base. 
because you see how the plastic piece is hitting the, the other part of the plastic piece? Well, that's that's all you're hearing because it's nothing broken. It's just a little plastic thing. But I didn't notice it when I opened it. And if you look over here, you will find this. Oh, look at that. Now, I've never gotten a Craft One figure, so this is going to be very cool. And I absolutely love how they've made his clothes look a little dirty there. Look at his shoes. They look like they're worn shoes. He's got some jeans on. Then up here, he's got like a gray jacket. Like I said, this looks like his Taken 3 outfit. Um, and then he's got like a black shirt underneath. And somebody cut Brian Mills and put a bag over both of his heads. Because yes, he does come with two heads. Now, Liam Neeson doesn't actually come with two heads himself. But this figure does, and I think that's awesome. But we'll look at those up close in a minute. Over here, you will find his watch. He's got his little cell phone. That little silver thing is his little tape recorder. I think that's cool, because, I mean, he, he used that all through the first movie. I don't know about the second and third, but, but I think that's cool that he came with that. Came with a gun. Came with a computer, which is cool. Now I can use that. He came with a hand. He came with another gun with a suppressor-looking thing on the end of it. And then over here, he's got even more hands, and that's awesome, and that leads us back to the stand. And that looks cool. So, I say we waste no more time and pull him out of the box. What do you say? Now, here's the figure fresh out of the package and stood straight up. And look at that. Now, bear in mind, this is a knockoff figure. This is not a licensed Liam Neeson figure or Brian Mills figure or Tekken figure or Tooken or whatever you want to call it. And you know what? This looks really good. I mean, they captured his likeness exactly. I mean, look at that. I mean... <laughs> That looks awesome, man. Now, when I got this figure, it was a figure that I'd seen, you know, online and stuff where they were like, it's coming out, it's coming out. And I thought, oh, that looks really cool. I'd love to have that figure, but it's, you know, it's kind of expensive. And then I thought, oh, okay, well, maybe I can just get parts and, you know, part them out. And, uh, but nope, couldn't find any parts, you know, to, to get and junk like that. But then eventually I found one that I could actually afford. And I thought, for that price, I'll either you know, part him out or use the clothes on some other figure, you know, one of my gangsters or something like that, if it's not any good. And you know what? I'm happy to say this likeness looks awesome. Plus, he's got another one that I think it's the same head sculpt, but we'll look at it in a minute. But this looks really good, man. And I don't know if people say, well, it doesn't look like Liam Neeson. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it captures the character of Brian Mills perfectly, so I don't know what people are complaining about, but I think it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Now, the jacket looks really cool, very, very uh, Jack Bauer-y, you know? I mean, that's what I meant, is you could use these clothes for pretty much anybody. He's got a black uh, shirt there, and if you look underneath his, uh, let me see here, if you look underneath his jacket there, you will see a belt. Uh, that's pretty cool, and he's got his pants. He's got his hands there. He's just got the standard hands, no grabby hands. And then he's got jeans, like I said, and then those shoes look really cool. They're kind of like little loafers or leather shoes or whatever. That's kind of neat. But they look cool. Now, I will say this. The only thing that I noticed, now I've only had him out of the box for a few seconds, but the hardest part for this figure so far was putting that uh, the base together to snap the little post on there. It just would not go, but it's just a knockoff hot toy stand and just like that. I mean, it was just hard to get on there. I was afraid I was going to break it. But he looks very cool indeed. Now let's look at him from behind. What do you say? So here he is from behind. And as you can see, he looks kind of plain. But you know what? It looks awesome. I mean, this looks very cool. And, you know, I haven't even pulled out any of the accessories and stuff like that. I mean, this just looks amazing. Now, speaking of his accessories, you will see the computer, his watch, two guns, his little tape recorder, and his phone. And his little phone's a little flip phone. That's awesome. Inside, it's got the little, I don't know if that's a sticker or if it's painted on or what, but it's actually got writing and everything. The tape recorder's awesome. The computer, check it out, it says Vio. And then if you open it up, you will see this. Not only does it have little keys with little letters and stuff like that, he actually has, like, opened, he's got way too many uh, shortcut tabs or whatever saved on his computer. Holy cow, Brian! What? Jeez, man, that's a lot. But look, it's got a little camera there at the top. I mean... <laughs> That's really cool, man. That is, I mean, they did that perfectly. I think that looks neat. Plus, his watch is very cool. I know you can't see that, but it actually has little numbers and stuff like that. Or not the numbers, but the little arms and junk like that. It's probably got dots for the numbers. And then his guns. So I say we look at the figure up close. What do you say? Now here we go with a super-duper close-up look and check it out. Little buttons sewed on. There's his jacket. You can see the different colors in the material there. It's got like little browns and blues and stuff like that. And then if you pan up here, you will say... Where is your face, Liam Neeson? There's his chin and his mouth. Look, he's got stubble. I love how they painted the stubble on him. I mean, that looks awesome. He's got little freckling. 
Oh my goodness, check that out. Now remember, this is not a Hot Toys figure. This is not a licensed figure. They didn't get like a scan of Liam Neeson's face or sculpt it from like probably like billions and billions of uh, production stuff sent over by the companies and junk like that. I think this looks awesome. They did a great job. Check that out. And they got the shape of his nose just right. Oh my gosh, I love his little crow's feet there by his eyes. Look at that! That looks so good, man. There's his ear. And then there's his hair. Oh, that looks so good. That is so, so cool. Plus, there's a whole other head to look at, which we haven't looked at yet. But before we do that, let's look down here. Let's see, where's your belt? There's his belt, a little leather belt with a metal buckle. And then, what do we, let's look at his shoes, because his shoes looked really awesome. See, you can see that they're painted to look weathered. That looks awesome looking, man. Very, very cool indeed. But that's not all. Let's look at... Okay, first we got to move you, Brian. Get over here. And I don't know how well we'll be able to make this out, but there's the watch. Now, you can see that there are little number dots and stuff, and that looks pretty cool to me. That's about as close as I can get without it getting too fuzzy. And then here's the keyboard on the computer. Look at that. It has letters on it. Holy cow, man. I'm going to be using this computer later. And then up here can see all the little thingamabobbers that he has open on his computer. Oh, that's so cool, man. And then there's the little camera. Look, I can see you. I see you. And then, look at that. It's got the little, it's got the little sticker you're supposed to take off of your computer when you buy it. That's awesome. And then over here, here's his phone. Who's it calling? Oh, it's just got the time. That's pretty cool, man. And then down here, it's got the, look. It's got the numbers on that too, man. This is tiny. This is like really tiny. You can put it on like your pinky, the little, you know, where your fingerprint is on your pinky or whatever. There's the little tape recorder. Very cool indeed. And then over here's a gun. And remember, like I said, this is, this is a knockoff figure. Where's the other gun? This is a knockoff figure, man. They didn't have to do all this detail. They could have just said, here's a gun. Take it out here. It's from another toy. We don't care. That is awesome. Now, before I forget, the other accessory besides his hands is the other head. Now, the other head is exactly the same as the one that comes on the figure, except for this one has battle damage. Yeah, look at that. He's got, like, scratches and scars and stuff, which, again, goes back to, you know, Taken 3, because this looks kind of like the wounds he gets in that movie, you know, because he had the little cut over his eye and stuff like that. That is awesome. Now, they didn't have to do that, but I'm so glad they did. That is so cool. So there's my very quick and sort of review of the Craft One 1-6 one scale agent figure, a.k.a. Brian Mills, a.k.a. Liam Neeson from the movie Tekken. And this figure looks good. It lived up to exactly what I wanted it to be. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. They did a really good job. And you know what? I was, you know, prepared to either not like it or like it. And actually... I like it. And you know what's funny is uh, they actually did, I don't know how many other figures Craft One has made, but I do know they made a one called Fighter, and it's based on Tyler Durden, and it's Brad Pitt from the movie Fight Club, and it's awesome because it comes with the spiky hair look, and he actually comes with the shaved head look at the end of the movie, and you know what? Awesome, because he's already on the way here, and I can't wait to review it, because you know what? It would have sucked majorly with that one on the way here if this one would have sucked. And you know what? This one didn't, and I absolutely love it. And if you hear other people say things like, you know, oh, it doesn't look like Liam Neeson. Really? Come on, seriously, it's a knockoff figure, number one. Number two, you saw it up close, just like I did just a few minutes ago. All the details are there, man. Shut up. And if it doesn't look enough like I'm... You know what you can do? You can squint. And you can go, hey, that's Liam Neeson. And dead Liam Neeson. But you know what? I love it. And if you want to get it, hey, if you can get it for a good price like I did, because I got it pretty cheap, it is awesome. And you know what? It's a fraction of what Hot Toys figures cost, and I love it. So until next time, tune in for more Foo Reviews! <laughs> Holy crap, man, there he goes! There he goes, guys, come on! Come on! Come on, Felsbug! Felsbug, no, get him, Mr. Evil Chase, go! Felsbug! Felsbug! Come on, Liam! Liam, we need you! Let's go, Liam!